Now that we have our main or power circuit complete and working, we can shift our attention to connecting up some motor controls. Once again, let's see Tandi demonstrate how to connect these. Now we're going to start wiring in our control circuit into the contactors merging the, con the main circuit and the control circuit. So we're going to do things the correct way. I'm going to start wiring in my A2 sides onto the neutrals of each contactor because in a 220 circuit, as will be shown on the sketch for you, your neutral is always common and it runs across all your contactors that we're using. So bear in mind that the color that you're supposed to be using of the correct wire is supposed to be a black wire. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to use red. So I'm connecting the A2 of my forward contactor. I'm going to be giving it a supply neutral. The neutral on my forward contactor is done. I'm going to repeat the same for my reverse. One thing with electrical connections, you've got to always make sure that your connections are tight. You don't have a loose connection because it creates a spark and it's something we don't want. So I'm going to be moving over now to the control circuit. Remember, we are using the normally open of the forward, which is our start button, and the normally open of the reverse which is our start button number two. Now, as you can see, I've got numbers that are allocated here. I've got a three and a four. So I'm gonna use the threes as going in. I'm only gonna bring in one supply from the live side into only one of the two auxiliaries. And I will use this bridge piece to connect between these two points. Okay, now that I've wired the two supply side of my start buttons, I'm now going to go out of each individual start button. I'm going to start with the reverse one. It has got to come onto the supply side of my coil in order for my coil to have across it 220 volts. So remember, this is my reverse and it's the top one. So it's going to go onto my A1 of the reverse contactor. And for this purpose, wire in the last bit. This bit is on the forward, so I'm going to go into my A1 of the forward contactor. The way our circuit now is connected is both our starts are having a supply that is connected, which is our life. We're going out of both the start button into the respective contactors. 
So by right, when I press the reverse start button, the reverse contactor should energize. If that energizes, according to the wiring that we still have in place, the motor will run in the reverse direction. So I'm just going to put the cover on so that we are able to use the start buttons the right way. With the supply connected, I'm going to start with the reverse contactor. So this contactor should come in and not this one. As you can see, our contactor is engaged because we've got the voltage. The circuit is still in place. Our motor is running in one direction. And if I let go, it de-energizes. My motor comes to a stop. Now I'm going to engage the forward direction. This contactor should come in. As you can see, the contactor is energized. Our motor has changed direction and oops, I've got to let go because I'm tired. Electrically, this motor is working, but the circuit is not completely functional because you cannot have a person standing by and pushing the start button all the time. We need to make a plan to be able to make sure that we keep the circuit in when the start button is pushed and we'll move that onto the next segment of our wiring. Let's draw the control circuit diagram of the circuit we have created so far. When wiring control circuits in installations, we always need to add circuit protection. This should consist of short circuit and overload protection. Now, we can complete the rest of the circuit. We start by indicating the connections to the live and neutral supply. Next, we add in the forward and reverse contactors. Remember to label these as F and R for forward and reverse. Now, we can add in the two start buttons. Remember that these are normally open push button contacts. Make sure that you label them as start buttons. 